Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you iOS 9 Beta 3. Now I know it's been out, oh, a couple days now, but a lot of you have been asking me to show you what's new in the different betas, so I thought I'd share that with you. So this is iOS 9 Beta 3, or Public Beta 1. They're pretty much the same at this point, and I'll show you the difference on the iPad too. There's only a couple things, but basically one of the first things is Apple Music. Now Apple Music has been on iOS 8.4, uh, for a little while now, and now it's on iOS 9. So we have Apple Music here, and you can use it just like you can in everything else. So you've got My Music and Connect and New and everything else, and it works just like it does on iOS 8.4. With that comes some new settings. So if we go back over to our Settings app, within Music, if we scroll down, you can see here High Quality on Cellular. So if we want High Quality Music on Cellular, we just flip that on. One of the other things they've updated is they've now added a couple new photos folders and you can see here we have screenshots and selfies so they've separated those out that's one of the other quick little changes they've made we also get some suggested apps in search if we pull down here and we start typing maybe we can type uh, Apple and it'll start to bring up some top hits, uh, some phone numbers, things like that. And it's really nice. It, it starts to search more and more stuff as you've used it. It's a little bit slow on the beta, but it, it does seem to work okay. Within Mail, they've made some updates just to these icons here. If I go back, you'll see we have Archive, Flag, and More. And you also have Delete, depending on which email you're using. So you've got these labels, but also got these little icons as well. Now the major change that came with this beta is the news app. Now here's the news app on the iPhone. Now the news app is basically supposed to aggregate news for you and bring it all to your iPhone and you can see it crashes and I've run it a couple times and this is why you don't use betas on your main device open it a couple times and it will crash sometimes it works and you see it crashes so I'll show it to you on the iPad side but I wanted to show you that and along with that also come some settings for news as well so you can see we now have some news settings and we have a few different things, so we can use cellular data, background app refresh, show story previews, prefetch story only on Wi-Fi. You can change this up always or on Wi-Fi. Number to download, 20 most recent. That's This is all stock. I haven't changed any of this. And then acknowledgments. This is just Apple acknowledgments. So we have a bunch of different things here uh, just to customize news as well. Before we check out the iPad side of things, uh, we also have a change here to the battery icon. It's squared off. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but it is squared off, and then you still have your low power mode. And you can see this also gives you a little different time frame. This is new too, this little time button. It will show you different uh, times of the day and things, eight minutes on the screen, etc. So right now, background activity, if I turn that back on, you can see 32 minutes on screen eight minutes background. So it's really nice. It gives you a little bit more comprehensive overview of how you're, you're using your battery. Now that we've moved over to the iPad, you can see not a whole lot looks different, but if we swipe over and we go to one of our folders, we've got four apps per folder. So we have four icons across by four down. And this is really nice, except that hopefully Apple changes this before it comes out because you have to rearrange everything. So if you see here, we've got two pages doesn't just condense them in. I'm not sure why yet, but hopefully they change that in an update. Not sure about that yet. But the thing I can show you here is Apple News. So Apple News here, we'll open it up. It says for you, and you can see it lays it out like a magazine. Now, when you first start up Apple News, it actually asks you to pick a bunch of your, your topics. So you go over to favorites and you pick all of your news selections. So you have edit right here and we can get rid of any of these that we don't want in here. So if we just don't want one of these, we can just get rid of it. And then if we want to explore and add more, we can do that by hitting explore. And these are just some of the suggested channels. We can scroll down and search by genre, maybe technology. That's usually what I tend to follow. Maybe we want to follow recode, uh, maybe driverless cars, go back. And it's a little bit slow right now, but it should update. Now, if we want to watch one of these, we can just open them up. We can also share them or like them, and we can read the full story. You know, I'm not really convinced this is a great way to view 
news yet. Time will tell, but right now, so far, using it in its beta form, uh, it's a really nice laid out format, but I'm not sure that it's any better than what's already out there. But that'll be seen in the future. We'll see how well it aggregates things, things like that. You can also explore, you can search, and you can also have some saved stories as well. So that part's really nice as well. The final thing I wanted to share with you is what's in messages. Now within messages, we have these two icons. And on the right, if you hold this, we've got this icon and we can slide up to send this message. We'll X that out. But on the left, we can do the same now. If we tap and hold, it will switch to video or photo. So that's really nice as well. Just a quick little update I think they've done. I'm not sure if they did that in this beta or anything else, but uh, that's in beta 3 and the public beta. So that's pretty much it as far as the updates to iOS 9 beta 3. There may be a few other things here and there. If you've found anything, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to check back for the further updates when they do beta 4, public beta 2, and the final release. Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.